A local news icon, a familiar face many of us grew up watching. Most of us were in disbelief hearing about his passing. The late WKRG anchor Mel Showers set the standard and broke barriers for journalists. WKRG News 5's Asher Red spoke with Mobile City leaders about Mel's legacy and Asher, an incredible, powerful legacy that's hard to describe, really. Absolutely, and I never knew Mel personally, but I still teared up a little bit when the city council started today's meeting with a moment of silence in honor of him. Today, we want to pause to honor the life and legacy of Mel Showers Sr. I want to thank WKRG, and I want to thank all of our viewers. A warm voice that'll stick with WKRG viewers for years to come, but not a single voice could be heard during a moment of silence in honor of Mel Showers in the Mobile City Council Chamber. Thank you. Mel passed away on Saturday. He was 78 years old. City Council Vice President Gina Gregory worked with Mel for seven years as a news anchor here at WKRG. Being able to sit next to Mel Showers and co-anchor the news was just a terrific experience. He was so much fun. Gregory recalls Mel's antics around the newsroom as an added bonus of his behind the scenes personality. He would stand there and he'd say, I'm not an old man. Let me show you what I can do. And he would be standing next to the desk and jump up onto the corner of a standing jump onto the corner of the desk. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, Devin, out of all of the anchors I've worked with over oh, the years, I'm yours. you're one of oh. them. <laughs> Mel was a Vietnam veteran. 21 year old Dees was brought here to the USA Medical Center by his brother. He began and his career at WKRG as a part-time booth operator in 1969, later becoming a reporter and then the first black full-time news anchor in the Mobile, Pensacola market. Among other things, Mel was especially known for his fair and impartial reporting of the civil rights era as a black man in the Deep South. Those early years when the hate mail would come in, not quite used to and not quite ready for a person of my complexion to hit that air. but. I kept smiling. And in 2019, after 50 years. It's time for me to move on. After five decades with you, I am retiring. Along the way, Mel earned his spot in the Alabama Broadcasters Association's Hall of Fame. I don't deserve this, but I'm not giving it back. <laughs> <laughs> the month that Mel retired, Mobile Mayor Sandy Stimson dedicated it Mel Showers Month within the city of Mobile, even appointing Mel as mayor of Mobile for a day. You know, he'll certainly be missed, but, but I think that he also set a standard and broke through some barriers uh, that others haven't had to worry about since he did that. I will miss you, I love you, and may God continue to bless all of you. And while renovated, this studio that I'm standing in was Mel's home turf for many of those 50 years that he was here. WKRG was one of his, was his one and only news station, rather, which is a rarity in the news business. No funeral arrangements have been announced as of yet. Live in the studio for now, I'm Asher Red, WKRG News 5.